All right, uh, sorry. Forgot to take the, take the distributor out for you to see how it is. So when you take it out, um, it's gonna move. So you can you can see this turned a little bit, and um, you can see the O-ring right here. It should go in all the way. When see when you take it out, is this is turned. So uh, when you insert it in, I guess it's not it's not gonna line up. I guess you yeah, just just insert it in with this at about the nine o'clock position like this, and when you push it in, it's gonna turn like that, which which was what it just did, and then you can see that you have to kind of force it in. There you go. So now it's in, but then you can see that you can see that now it's off the teeth because this. Because this thing moves, um, it's not a line anymore. You see, because the line's over here, and uh, this, the uh, the cap thing is right here. So what you gotta do is you gotta take it back out. Let's see. Then face it. Face this one down here again, and then first try to move it in, and then. Uh, so it's not working. Take it out again. Turn it out. Turn it about the teeth down. So you see that it's kind of about in the between the eight and the nine position o'clock. And then so push it in. So you see it turn again. And then just. Push it in. Okay, now so so now it's good, cause you can see that you can see that it, now this lines up with this, and now you have to adjust, just adjust this so that this lines up with the number one position on the cap, on the cap, which is right here, and as you can see, if I install it on, it matches number one right here, and then this this piece right here hits number one, which should hit this piece right here, which will make a spark. And basically, you're good. Uh, you could check. You could check on the sprock on the on the distributor, the, the hoe, and the dent in the hoe. Uh, it doesn't really have to line up. What matters most is what if this line just lines up with the distributor cap. And yeah, that's that's it.